Toyota CEO has made a huge mistake that can destabilize the entire brand and its legacy. What mistake did Toyota CEO make? Are we facing the fall of Ford? And how will it affect you? Join us as we explore the great mistake that now influences the future of Toyota. In previous years, Toyota has been making models that were a great success. The Toyota RAV4 was the car that kickstarted the crossover craze, and the original Celica was one of the first cars that were marketed toward young car enthusiasts. The Supra is considered to be one of the three all time greatest JDM classics. What was your all time favorite Toyota model, and why? Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Akio Toyota, the current CEO of Toyota, is a man that effectively led Toyota into the 21st century. If you think that the similarities between Akio's last name and the brand name Toyota are not a coincidence, you are right. Akio Toyota's grandfather, Kichiro Toyota, was the founder of the company. Therefore, because of his legacy that is tied to the company itself, Akio, who worked for Toyota for quite some time, managed to join the board of directors in 2000, and only nine years later, he became the president and CEO of the company, a title that he holds to this day, therefore replacing the equally brilliant Katsuaki Watanabe, who was the CEO of Toyota before. They are both responsible for the image that the brand has these days, a car brand that makes one of the most advanced, reliable, and dependable cars out there. During the entirety of the 21st century and under the leadership of Akio, Toyota's electrified models, which began with the Prius, became the best-selling hybrids on the market. So Toyota, under his leadership, has in essence become a prodigy for innovation, which in turn raised its overall popularity with the general public. And the fact that the cars that Toyota had been selling had both been extremely reliable and affordable to buy further popularized the brand and multiplied its production quantity significantly. So, it came as a great surprise that Akio could in fact make a mistake that could cost the company dearly, both financially and image-wise. After all, he has been a crucial part of Toyota for almost three decades, and he is the one that effectively led Toyota to its extreme success in the 21st century. A man of Akio's caliber should know the market demands and how to make the company that he leads fulfill these demands. Unfortunately, it seems that Toyota's CEO was overconfident with his own and Toyota's possibilities, and such a mistake can lead to catastrophic consequences for the brand's reputation. So, what kind of a mistake did Akio make? Well, believe it or not, Toyota's CEO underestimated the company's supply chain's capabilities. Toyota had stuck for quite some time now to its original production forecast for 2023, which was announced in May of this year. However, in October, Toyota hinted at a revision of its current production plan as they announced another monthly budget and production cut. A similar revision happened in October 2021, when the company lowered its projection for the fiscal year that ended in March of 2022 by 3%, which amounted to a decrease of 300,000 units from the previous plan. Due to the short supply of semiconductors and the spread of the virus in Southeast Asia, the plan was revised downward again in January of 2022. Sure enough, the revision did in fact happen. Toyota announced that they'll reduce their expected production output for 2023 by a staggering half a million, 500,000. Toyota also lowered its global production volume for November to about 800,000 units due to chip shortages. Not only that, but they also said that only a third of these units will be produced in Japan, whereas the rest will be made in their other factories in the rest of the world. The company's officials had stated that they're sorry for the repeated adjustments to the production plan that was caused by the parts shortage, which itself was a result of the stormy past of a couple of years. They also said that they understand how big of an inconvenience this whole situation is for their customers, that have been waiting on the delivery of their vehicles, suppliers, and other parties concerned. They also said that they closely examine the supply of parts and that they'll work with the related parties so that the customers can receive their vehicles as soon as possible. Toyota has also taken into account many possible future risks, such as the shortage of semiconductors before they announce the cut in the production numbers. But how will this mistake impact the brand? The answer is actually not that simple. In fact, it's quite extensive. Well, first of all, let's point out the obvious. Toyota's profits will take a huge loss. If the average asking price for Toyota's models is roughly around $35,000, if we multiply this by the previously mentioned amount of vehicles that won't see the light of day, which is 500,000, 
That means that they'll lose a whopping $17.5 billion. Of course, this is just gross profit. The net profit would be significantly less. However, it's still an incredibly hefty sum. And also, albeit the overall demand for semiconductors may be softening, the world's biggest automaker says it still can't get its hands on enough chips. If we look at each type of semiconductor, the supplies haven't recovered to a satisfactory level, said Katsunari Kamakura, Toyota's head of purchasing. This is a huge possibility that the stock shortage will lead to a multi-year wait for Toyota's core models like the Camry, the RAV4, and the Land Cruiser, depending on the market. For example, the Australian market highly suggests to their customers to prepare for such a scenario. Wait times vary depending on the model, variant, and specification requirements of each customer. The RAV4 Hybrid, Camry Hybrid, Land Cruiser 70, and Land Cruiser 300 are in particularly high demand and currently have longer wait times, said one of Toyota's officials for the Australian market. We also must address the fact that three of Toyota's factories in Japan, Takaoka, Tahara, and Meata, have already suspended production. Albeit, this isn't a permanent halt, it's just a setback that lasted just a few days. It was still disheartening to see an automotive giant that is Toyota to resort to such measures. The situation as a whole could shatter the image that Toyota has been building for the past couple of decades, as the unsteady production could compromise the reliability of the dealer's network, which could in turn lower the popularity and the trustworthiness of Toyota as a brand in general. Considering the fact that the demand for new vehicles is on an unprecedented level, and the whole development of recent issues is very unenviable, Toyota's dealers will have to resort to updating their customers on the delivery timeframes for their individual orders. But before we deem Toyota's reputation ruined, we have to understand that the circumstances that have developed in the past couple of years won't hurt only Toyota, but the rest of the car industry. Automakers globally have been encountering a shortage of semiconductors since late 2020, when a rebound in auto sales took companies by surprise after they had previously moved to reduce chip orders. Automakers competed for limited supply against electronic companies that saw demand bolstered by stay-at-home consumers. And due to this, most car manufacturers have also reduced or even halted production of certain models, so Toyota is no exception to the rest of the market. Also, while a cut of 500,000 units is very substantial profit-wise, we have to take into account that Toyota still plans to make over 9 million new cars during the upcoming year, which is still pretty impressive. Yet the semiconductor shortage might lower this number even further. But if that happens, no car company will be spared. So as much as the mistake that Akio Toyota made will impact the overall company in a negative way, there's a good reason to believe that Toyota will be up as soon as the current world crisis ends. Plus, Toyota's loyal fan base understands that the company is experiencing hard times, and since Toyota is one of the most loved car brands out there, we can be sure that the company will soon be able to satisfy its customers.